Hey everyone and welcome to Dark Sun Gaming. My name is Chris and in today's video we are going to be taking on the uh, Ginyu Force. And we're going to try to see what all we can get taken care of here. So, uh, yeah, the Easy A is all done. It's all complete. And going to see how they do against the Super Battle Road. Uh, so, uh, taking double digits right off the bat. I mean, it, it, the Super Battle Road, this should be simple. I mean... Um, I mean, Raccoon's already almost completely built up. I mean, here we are, you know, 672,000 there from Goldo, but he lowered attack and defense by 20%. Uh, and, and then the 40% on Jace is really nice to be able to have him with Raccoon, uh, just because of the fact that he's able to go on. And then you can really kind of see where any of the, uh, Let's see here. I can't really get that going on. Um, but it's really nice to be able to have Jace. I think I'm going to have him with Captain Ginyu going on. And then just really having to worry about uh, having Birder in the third rotation along with the team Ginyu Force. Just because they didn't get their easy A, which I'm very surprised with. Because uh, I really kind of thought we were going to get that. 2.3 million from Ginyu. Um, along with the seal. So you don't have any any trouble from that standpoint. I mean, really, if you have... All these guys work so well. I mean, it's hard to say what rotation I would want to continuously have with them. But I've got... I guess going back, I'm going to end up having uh, Goldo and and Raccoon together. I'm going to throw Bird or... Oh, crap. Well, uh, let's see here. I don't know if I want to have him taking all of that at the end. So you kind of have to kind of change a little bit because I think he's got the lowest amount, uh, not a great amount of defense. I can completely build him up. You know what? We're just going to go with this. Uh, I'm actually going to go here because then that's going to help build up additionally on what he's going to do. So we're going to build here. Um, go ahead and have Raccoon do his thing. And then I guess uh, Birder can go up on this so the thing that's nice is that goldo can go ahead and lower the defense for raccoon uh 1.3 million here from the uh goldo and he, he just does so much i mean ceiling lowering everything uh birders or raccoon excuse me is just not gonna he's gonna get fully built up now only 951,000 from birder i gotta tell you i'm kind of I'm excited about this because they are doing pretty well, but I would almost put them now on par with Team Bardock, which is pretty interesting because I don't know if you normally would do that. Um, and then these guys have all got everything set up. He, he's getting the additional attacks his way. All right, so we know we're going to be getting the super attack. Who's got the higher defense? Oh, easily Ginyu. So we'll, we'll throw him in there and have him attack. Um, on Vegeta... And then let's see here, we'll have him go there, and then we'll, yeah, hmm. all right, we'll just keep going on here. So, yep, we'll have Jace together with uh, Captain Ginyu, because I think they're going to kind of work out pretty well, uh, being able to know where to, to put Ginyu to be able to, to take everything. So almost 2 million attack here uh, with the chance of sealing. I mean, that's the thing. That's why they're so good. And and really, I think the Ginyu Force, what, what they made them really good on is not so much Ginyu Force, but I think they are much better now. They've made Dragon Ball Seekers uh, much stronger, which I do want to try that out with uh, with them. And then I also want to try them out with a Space Traveling Warriors because I think those are the ones that have really made the difference. But I figured, hey, why not bring them in here, give this opportunity, and really kind of take off from there. So here we'll have Raccoon go against Vegeta, which he should easily just beat up. And then we'll try to see if we can't get these orbs come down. And then really without the um, uh, without the uh, Ginyu Force unit getting an easy A, I mean, it's a little bit harder. 2.4 million from Raccoon, which is about right. I mean, he should be probably the strongest unit. And then I mean, nobody's going to be doing anything. I mean, this is going to easily be a no item run. It's going to make the Extreme Super Battle Road version of it even easier. I mean, here we are. We're getting ready to go into the last, last one. And we're just gonna mop the floor with these guys it's gonna be insane oh uh, let's see here actually i could actually throw him into the first slot i wonder how he's gonna do ah uh, let's go ahead and just throw him at the end put him there we'll just do this all right so 
we'll have him finish up at the end have no idea where this is going to end up at but we'll just get type advantage on everyone and uh, it doesn't make a difference i just didn't want him to have to go against uh, type disadvantage here but i mean all all this is gonna be double digits i mean they're they're doing nothing i've added <laughs> 1.7 million here from captain ginyu um so he's sealed i don't have to worry about him i guess i probably should have went after thouser but even then his super attack does nothing to me Man, Ginyu is disgusting. But yeah, space traveling warriors. I think I think all the other teams outside of the Ginyu Force, <laughs> because of the fact that their main leader didn't really get much, is, is pretty interesting. But I will also say, ooh, that one kind of stung. Um, but I will say that the Ginyu Force. Um, well, let's see. We'll go here. The the I think there's going to be a Ginyu that's going to be coming out. I, I don't know why I feel that way. Uh, we'll go here. But I, I just kind of feel like because they didn't do anything with the Ginyu Force and they didn't do anything with... Uh, I could see that being an, an easy A down the line and maybe have a Captain Ginyu. Either a, just a straight-up Captain Ginyu, maybe a Togoma Captain Ginyu. Uh, I think it was Togoma from the Resurrection F. Uh, that'd be pretty interesting. See if they turn around and end up doing that. But, I mean, we shouldn't have any problems here. I mean, we're going to be getting getting set up. Why did he only have... I thought I had the super attack going on. Must have hit the wrong one. Uh, let's see here. What do we got? Uh, it won't really make a difference. I'll just seal him. Because that's the power that we can go ahead and do now. <laughs> I mean, this team really is, is, is good. I still think free-to-play-wise, the best team is still Universe 7, followed up by Team Bardock. And then with um, uh, then Ginyu Force, I think would be set up. But definitely, I mean, they, they they easily should be able to beat any level now, um, not have any trouble as far as ev uh, I guess. Let me be more specific. Any Dokon Fest event, uh, they should easily be able to get that taken care of from that standpoint. Um, but otherwise, I mean, they this is nothing. We're just we're just pedaling along. <laughs> gonna beat them up here couldn't get a, an additional but we'll be able to wrap these guys up uh quite easily here so we'll actually let goldo do the best because i think goldo is uh low-key the the best unit that they turned around and made into it um although captain ginyu don't get me wrong is really good um and, and so is jace because jace is gonna any team that he's on jace is gonna be able to give you foresight on the super attacks and being able to boost defense for the other ginyu force members i mean that's going to be nice and then you know attack and defense and or excuse me attack boost plus uh orbs i mean that was simple <laughs> that was awesome so uh my first run here with um uh, ginyu force on the super battle road so pretty cool there um but otherwise we're gonna go ahead and wrap up this video um i am gonna try to hopefully get them in for space traveling warriors and also a uh dragon ball seekers team so we'll see how that goes out but otherwise that's it that's today's video if you haven't done so already make sure you go down hit that red subscribe button don't forget that notification bell so you're notified each and every time that i'm uploading a new video but otherwise that's it that's today's video thank you all very much for watching we'll talk to you guys later